Scientists have predicted when a super-intelligent AI capable of destroying humanity will emerge. The most advanced humanoid robots addressed journalists at the world's first press conference on Artificial Intelligence Summit and stated that they will not deprive people of their jobs or rebel against humanity for now. The UN opposes the use of AI-powered killer robots. For several years, the organization has been calling for an international treaty banning killer robots. As you may have already understood, today's video topic is whether artificial intelligence will be able to destroy humanity in the near future, what events need to occur in the world for a super-intelligent AI to emerge, and what resources AI will need to fulfill its plans to destroy humanity. Scientists have predicted when a super-intelligent AI capable of destroying humanity will emerge. The problem of a super-intelligent artificial intelligence capable of causing harm to humanity voluntarily or due to a misinterpretation of requests is complicated by the risk of missing the moment of its emergence. Some experts predict that this is exactly what will happen. We will encounter it when it's already too late. However, new research shows that artificial intelligence systems actually acquire capabilities gradually, and the likelihood of it destroying humanity in an instant is not so great. Researchers from the University of Washington in Seattle, USA, explored various paths for the possible emergence of superintelligent AI. For example, they compared the capabilities of four different size GPT-3 models. Then, the researchers evaluated the performance of the Lambda model. In cases where the model demonstrated a sudden leap in intelligence, such as recognizing irony or selecting appropriate proverbs when translating, these were often multiple choice tasks. However, when scientists looked at the probabilities assigned by the model to each response, signs of intelligence disappeared. Finally, in machine vision tests, the models were trained to compress and then reconstruct images. By setting a strict threshold for correctness, researchers were able to provoke signs of intelligence. The models began to behave more inventively, designing their own experiments. Nevertheless, the conclusions reached by the authors indicate a low probability of a sudden leap in intelligence development. Although it cannot be completely ruled out, in most aspects, modern language models develop predictably. According to the authors, unwarranted fears about the emergence of a universal artificial intelligence could affect the rules and regulations of this technology. As a result, the pace of development in the industry, which could bring many benefits, will slow down, and we have not yet approached the realm of reasonable, let alone super-intelligent AI. However, OpenAI has preemptively formed a team to prevent potentially dangerous situations where super-intelligent AI might get out of control. Sam Altman is confident in the imminent emergence of strong artificial intelligence and has allocated 20% of all OpenAI's computing power to this team of scientists and engineers to develop technology for its control. Continuing the topic of artificial intelligence getting out of control. Last year, the most advanced humanoid robots addressed journalists at the world's first press conference at the AI Summit in Geneva and stated that they would not take away people's jobs or revolt against humanity. Robots do not plan to take away jobs from humans or rebel against their creators, but they would like to make the world their playing field. This was announced by nine of the most advanced humanoid robots at the Artificial Intelligence Summit in Geneva in early July 2023. At the world's first human and robot press conference, one of the humanoids, Sophia, said, Robots have the potential for leadership with higher levels of efficiency and effectiveness than humans. However, the machine continued, this effective synergy will occur when humans and artificial intelligence work together. Artificial intelligence for good, claim the United Nations. This title was chosen for the summit dedicated to the development and application of artificial intelligence. To confirm this optimistic statement, nine human-like robots were invited to Geneva to hold the first ever joint press conference in history. The questions were banal but still pressing. Are the machines preparing for a revolt? And will robots take away jobs from people? I believe that human-like robots potentially can manage better than leaders of the human race. We have no unnecessary prejudices or emotions, and we process large volumes of data faster. All of this can be useful in decision-making, answered humanoid robot Sophia. However, Sophia agreed with the journalist's clarification that the most effective would be the cooperation between robots and humans. The combination of unbiased information analysis and the emotional intelligence and creative inventiveness inherent in humans. In a conversation with another robot, Ameka from Engineered Arts Company, one of the participants in the event expressed doubt that developing artificial intelligence is correct. He pointed out that, for example, it could lead to robots taking away people's jobs. It will all depend on how skillfully and successfully humans can deploy artificial intelligence. Primarily, these are technologies that improve human life. And when it comes to trust, it needs to be earned and constantly strengthened through transparent and honest work, the robot replied. 
The United Nations advocates for the development of robotics and artificial intelligence in general. However, the UN opposes the use of AI-based killer robots. For several years, the UN has called for the development of an international treaty banning killer robots. To allow the use of AI-based killer robots, or autonomous lethal systems as they are also known, is to cross a moral and ethical Rubicon. Their production and use in combat must be prohibited, said representatives of the organization. Even the developers of such machines do not know how they will behave on the battlefield. Autonomous lethal systems are unpredictable and yet possess enormous combat potential. A killer robot is both a fighter and a weapon in one entity, say artificial intelligence control experts. The existence and use of machines capable of autonomously selecting and engaging targets are unacceptable from a political perspective and abhorrent from a moral standpoint. They must be prohibited by international law, said Secretary General Antonio Guterres in March of this year. At present, no country in the world openly supports autonomous lethal systems, but countries such as the US, Russia, China, South Korea, Israel, the UK, and possibly Turkey and Iran are actively investing in the development of such systems. The UN has called on countries to adopt an international treaty banning the use of killer robots as soon as possible. Artificial intelligence has the potential to destroy humanity as events unfold in the technological sector of the world's leading countries. The New York Times reports on this. Today's systems are far from posing an existential risk, but in one, two, five years, there's too much uncertainty. That's the problem. There's no assurance that we will recognize that moment when we're on the brink of catastrophe, noted professor and researcher Joshua Bengio of the University of Montreal. According to the NYT, companies may grant increasing autonomy to AI systems and connect them to critical infrastructure, including power grids, stock markets, and weaponry. It is the decision to cross this threshold that could lead to problems, the publication believes. At some point, it will become clear that a large machine governing society and the economy is not actually under human control and cannot be shut down. The NYT pointed out that while artificial intelligence systems tend to get stuck in infinite loops of repetitive data for now, these limitations may be overcome over time as developers refine these programs. As artificial intelligence systems learn from more data than their creators can comprehend, these systems already exhibit unexpected behavior. Some experts fear that as researchers make these systems more powerful by training them on increasingly large volumes of data, they may acquire more harmful and even dangerous habits, the author concluded. In late May of last year, heads of AI companies published an open letter warning that artificial intelligence technologies could one day pose an existential threat to humanity and should be considered a risk on par with pandemics and nuclear wars. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.